It's October, the height of the autumn rut and highlight of the deer stalker's calendar. It's an exciting season and personally it's far and away my favourite time of year. In this month's film we take a closer look at the rut and we also have some stunning footage from the central highlands. October is a stunning time to be out deer stalking. The leaves burst into a spectacular colourful finale and with the onset of the first frost the herding species of deer stir into life. For it is at this time of year that the female and male herds come together for the rut. For seeker, red and fallow, this is the very pinnacle of deer stalking in the UK. The bellowing, belching and whistle of the UK's largest wild mammals can be heard to resonate around the countryside and open hill. Amongst fallow, it is the master bucks that dominate. The buck's voice can best be described as a rhythmic groan or belch. And it is from well-established rutting stands that the dominant bucks put on an irresistible display of wallowing, belching and groaning that the does seem unable to resist. Amongst red deer, the tactic is slightly different. Red deer will typically round up a harem of hinds which they attempt to defend against encroaching rivals. However, the constant effort of roaring and shivying around the hinds causes them to quickly lose condition, after which their rivals soon assert them from their thrones. Even the young stags get involved and engage in mock battles, all of which puts them in good stead for future challenges to come. Of course, red stag stalking is not just confined to the lowlands, and so, with a few members of the Capriolus Club, it's off to the highlands in search of fresh challenge and some stunning scenery. Highland stalking is not for the faint-hearted, and finding suitable stags can involve some serious legwork. Nonetheless, on the first day, our luck is in and stalker and guest glass a stag with a broken antler. The stalker readies the rifle and both stalker and client make their way further up the hill. This stag should know better, and yet, astonishingly, its inquisitive nature gets the better of him. Before you write in, make no mistakes. This is where an intricate knowledge of the hill pays off, as the stalker is able to position the client for a perfectly safe shot that is not portrayed by our camera angle lower down the hill. Those that are fortunate enough to grasp their first stag will be blooded as is the tradition. Day two in the Central Highlands, and despite Scotland's notorious reputation for poor and changeable weather, we're in for a second day of fair weather. We're stalking in an estate near the southern Cairngorms, and the Monroes rise to some impressive heights. After an initial climb, a stag is spotted hugging the skyline some 400 yards in distance. Good marksmanship is essential if an animal is going to be engaged at these distances. Eventually the beast descends to just over 300 yards. Here the shot is sound. The shot beast is collected and the Argo is called. For the stag is taken from the hill and back to the larder to be prepared for countless dinner tables up and down the country. That's it for this month. If you'd like to learn more about stalking in the UK or the Capriolis Club, then take a look at our website www.countydeerstalking.co.uk.